can't really go wrong. Um, I think it should be good. I like the fact that it has more than one shelf um, and you can adjust it so you can still fit a bag or something big in the bottom and have a little bit of space on top. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clueless Dad. Today we have a Halen system from Ikea and this is the small cabinet. This is like a modular cabinet system. It's called a cabinet, called a locker. It's a lockable metal cabinet, I guess you could say. And these are gonna be used as under desk storage for my employees, so I bought 10 of these. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna let them do the other nine. Uh, but anyway, the reason why we got this is because it's very simple and it's very inexpensive. And mainly people were looking for a place to put their, like their bags or other personal items that they wanted to just keep safe. Um, and previously we got the Idasen drawers, like little rolling drawers that even came with like a card key lock on it. And uh, those things are just too much of a pain in the butt to put together. Like the number of man hours required to assemble it on top of the price just made it completely economically not viable. I was not economically viable. No, 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 no. We bought three or four and we're just like, okay, never again. Because literally I had one guy who's supposed to be an engineering major, former employee, I should say. Um, he took upwards of three hours to put one together. So based on what I'm paying him, yeah, that was totally not worth it. This is what happens if you're not economically viable. So anyway, enough with the Idasen. We decided to go simple, so we went for the Halen of the smallest size. And these are modular, so you can actually stack them. So depending on what my staff wants to do, they can put them under the desk. They can actually put them off in the corner and stack them. So actually should be pretty decent. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so let's get started with the assembly. So these are the legs. They actually come separately. And obviously because you're stacking them, you maybe only need one set or multiple sets. So let's just build one with the legs and start off with the box. So lots of pieces and which directions you follow depend on what you're doing. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a leg, so let me unwrap these two. And it's got some plastic feet and they screw in and out, so if your floor is not flat, you can adjust it. Okay, so the hardest part in this case is actually figuring out which piece is which, because they're basically all white rectangles or squares of one sort or another with some random things on the end. In this case, you want to find the one that has these channels in there. Uh, and that's where you're actually going to click in those legs. Okay, so first thing we want to make these two together perpendicularly. Uh, it actually is very unclear in the instructions, but you want to basically make sure that this hole here that's off center is towards the outside, I guess. Uh, and it should click. I didn't get to click last time. Let me try again. And likewise, make sure that you get the indentation towards the outside on this one. There we go, that's how you get it to click. Okay, that's a little bit embarrassing. Let's try the next piece. Ah, that time it actually clicked. I should note that these two sides are not identical. So one is where the hinge goes and one is where the latch goes and which one is on which side depends on basically which side you want the door to open to. So um, I guess just make sure if you're gonna stack multiple ones that they all open the same way, probably want that. Um, so in this case, it's going to open this way from the back, so that way from the front. Okay, so next up we're going to put the back on. This looks like it's unidirectional, but it's actually not. Uh, there's kind of this spike here, um, metal tab, and you want that to be facing up and it's flat on the bottom. So this one can kind of go in, I guess, like this, and there's a lip. And so yeah, it just stays in place. And once it's in place, you can just use a screwdriver to push that tab in. Probably would be better with a pair of pliers. Next up, we have the bottom piece. Uh, this has basically like a really small flap in the back, a bigger lip, and then these kind of cuts in the front edge. So let's try to get this in. It should go in basically nose first. Something like that and then you tip it up and bend those tabs in place again. So there should be basically four tabs. And 
And in this case, if you don't want it to rattle, like try to bend those tabs so that it actually holds it tight, not just keeps it from coming out. Okay, next up we have the top piece. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the main thing you want to do is put these little tabs in through these slots. And uh, the other thing is that this lip should go in the front because there's holes here which the uh, hinges will go in. So make sure you put it in right the first time so you don't have to take it out uh, as may or may not have happened to me. Line everything up. Pull it forward and it should be locked in place. And then now let's get the tabs. So now there's some tabs halfway back on both sides and you just want to bend those in place. And that keeps this whole top piece locked in. Okay, can't move at all. Okay, now we crack open the uh, hardware. So in the plastic bag, you should have four of these plastic fasteners. Uh, and these just go into each of the corners, the lowermost hole. There's like a round hole in each one. So just pop those in by hand. Should be pretty easy. Okay, so next up we have this metal latch and that actually goes through this little slot here and uh, is used to lock the door. So uh, you just want to screw it in with a Phillips screw that is included. So get your screwdriver ready. Should slide in like this and then screw it in. So let me get it started by hand. Actually not that bad. So nice and tight. Okay, so next up we're going to put the shelf that goes in here. There's one shelf and they use these four metal latches that go in those little slots to adjust the height. So uh, let's just put it in the middle. Okay, next up we have that middle shelf and uh, hopefully you got these all at the same level. Whenever I'm doing like the Billy bookcases and stuff, I always screw it up, but let's try it. And you just gotta get it in. Okay, yeah, I guess I got it right. It's pretty straight, right? Um, just note that there is kind of a gap here. So if you're putting like loose things in, they might fall down. Not the end of the world. Okay, so if you've done everything right, you should have one panel left, which as you can guess is the door. And uh, depending on which side you have it on, it should go like this in this case. But if you put them on the opposite side, you would have it open the other way. So anyway, the key thing is we have to do the, the hinge. Uh, and you may have noticed that this you know, the hardware came with two of these, which look like Allen wrenches, like Ikea Allen wrenches, but in fact, they're just 90 degree bent round rods. And these are really, really cheap, you know, hinges that this thing uses just to keep the door from falling off. So uh, basically you want to take this little tiny plastic washer that also is in the bag, if you haven't lost it, and that goes over uh, the hinge side, the hole down here on the bottom. And I guess that just is a spacer so that the metal doesn't rub on metal there. And uh, these Allen wrench looking pieces of metal basically just go in place here. And you can bend them in place like that and then vice versa on the top. So it should go something like this when it's in place. So of course you want to actually assemble it first before you put that in. So let's try it with just the bottom part. See if it'll fit. And last but not least, just bend these little tabs, keeping that Allen wrench in place. And voila. Okay. Does it close? Closes. Opens. Closes. Okay, so it's not perfect. There's definitely going to be some metal on metal rubbing here. I guess you could try to bend it or whatever. Um, but it keeps the door from popping open. Um, but So, yeah, not the end of the world either way. Actually, skip one step. Uh, there's these little magnets with a rubber coating on one side, and those are bumpers which screw into the door here, and that'll actually make the door stay closed as well. So it has a little magnetic latch, I guess. So if I can get the magnet, it's actually a super strong magnet. So once I get it in, if I can screw it in here and do it the same thing at the top, I should be able to go. This one's actually pretty hard because it's a sheet metal screw. So I got one. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. Since this thing rubs here anyway, maybe if I bend it a little bit, it would be better, but it doesn't actually behave that much differently. Okay, so here is the Hallen. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Pretty simple. Can't really go wrong. 
Um, I think it should be good. I like the fact that it has more than one shelf um, and you can adjust it so you can still fit a bag or something big in the bottom and have a little bit of space on top. Okay, so you may notice that you have two pieces left over, two of these things. What are they? They are what you would use if you didn't have these legs. So because I have this, the legs, because this is going on the floor, I don't need these. If I was stacking multiple ones, I would need these. So that's why they come with every set of the cabinet itself. And so how does it go? What is it used for? So just imagine if these were missing and I put this in its place. So basically it would be like this and there would be this tab hanging out in the bottom. And in fact, there's a slot in the top, which this can now fit into. And I guess similar to the other one, you just bend the tab and put the next one on top. So uh, that's basically how they go. I guess you could still use it so that you could put something on top and not have it roll off. I don't know. Anyways, probably be too high to put on your desk. So at least you have them in case you want to change the configuration sometime in the future. Okay, so what do you think? Eh, not too bad. Uh, the, the construction stuff is very similar to the Ida Sen and some of the other, you know, Ikea stuff I did with the Hindo shelves. Yeah, so you can see there's a latch here. Basically the same kind of stuff, same hinge, same everything. Very simple, very cheap, it's not precision, but you know, you can get pretty far with cutting some slots and using folded metal and stamped metal. So Ikea does it again, I guess. I could probably do this in 10 minutes now that I've done it before or less actually. Okay, so that's it for today. Definitely check out my other Ikea assembly videos and I also do stroller reviews and other kind of dad stuff. So definitely check those out. Consider subscribing, ring the bell, yada, yada, yada. See you guys next time. Having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin. As soon as we get up the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally, that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.